I'm absolutely buzzing about that. That's amazing. Yes. Underneath the soil or hidden in the ground, there's a lot of treasures to be found. Dirty secrets, dirty secrets of Scotland. Hello, welcome to Dirty Secrets of Scotland, episode 25. I'm at the bottle tip again and I'm just looking around for fresh patches and I think I think there <laughs> First bottle is a flying inkwell. I think that's machine made. Seems like it's complete. Bit naughty really, I shouldn't be rubbing my thumb on the lip just in case it's broken, but it was fine in that case. Yeah, it's just a wee inkwell. I don't know if that's a crack or if it's just a... Nah, I think it's just a rim there. There you go, first bottle. Just threw this out. Give it a little bit of a wipe because uh, I thought it was a plain wine bottle at first, but it's actually not. It's a Vulcanite top um, and it's a local bottle as well. Um, what does that say? McLennan and Urquhart Dalkeith. So that's a nice Edinburgh bottle. Nice one. I was a bit hasty there. That's, uh, that's a pictorial. I don't know if you can see that with a hand. Holding a dagger with a U, I guess that's for Urquhart. Look at that. Love it. Just add this up. It's a miniature or something. Is that amber or is it clear? I think it's actually amber. Sometimes clear bottles. Look amber if they've got gunge inside them, but I think that's just a wee amber. Don't think it's broken, but it isn't telling me much. It's a cute wee bottle though, eh? Just had this out. You can see what I had out of. Pull it out of the fuck. It's got a star in it. M&M. &M. <laughs> it's m and M's bottle. Aberdeen. And uh, yeah, it's got a star, so pictorial, it's all right. And it's got the little uh, stopper in there intact. Nice, that's a couple of pictorials then already. I'm quite happy with that. Cool. Just had this out again, from the top. It's, uh, it's um, aqua glass this time, so a wee bit older, I think, than other finds. But yeah, it's plain. It's got a tooled lip though. Yeah, nice wee bottle. Just a shame it's plain. I've just had three bottles come out at once. They were all sort of right next to each other. Clear glass, so it's not amazingly old. Not one I think I've seen though. Let's have a look. Uh, Robert Barr. Oh, Robert Barr, just repeated. Robert Barr, Robert Barr, Robert Barr. I feel like I was doing a frog impression there. Well, it says at the bottom as well, just for good measure, but the top is mangled. Oh, no, 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 it's not. I thought that was all broken up or something, but it's not. It's just a really weird shape. That's strange. I've never seen one like that before. Okay, that's one. <laughs> and then here. Ah, yeah, McEwen's, which is a beer that's still going, but it's not made in Edinburgh anymore. McEwen's, Edinburgh, and there's the top there. Bottles here seem to all have the tops in them. And this, not very exciting at all, but the remains of a label, Heinz 57, I think that this is a Heinz sauce bottle. Yeah, machine made, not too old. 
these always just get thrown away unfortunately but it's an early um, early screw cap still in the top layer so hopefully there'll be older stuff further down <laughs> And another one, right at the top as well. So like the ash is just starting there. Let's have a look at it. Top's complete. Is it the same as the others? Yes, it's a McEwen's. And that'll say Edinburgh. It sure does, McEwen's Edinburgh. Not a pictorial bottle, it's just got the my key at the top. This is crazy, the amount of bottles. The amount of bottles in the top is mad, look. There's another one. <coughs> look at the top. That's a strange bottle, it's all textured. Doesn't seem to say anything on it. Not that I can see right now anyway. It's a funny bottle that. It says something on the bottom. I think it says Dundee, J. Robertson and Sons. Is that right? J. Roberts? J. Roberts and Sons. Nice wee bottle, that. I think it might be aqua. Aye, that's aqua glass. Cool, it's a wee bit older then. Crown top. There we go, nice one. This is just getting silly now. Another one. I think it's the same as the, uh, as the Urquhart or... Oh no. It's M&M's ball again. Aberdeen. Got a right mixture here. Dundee, Aberdeen, Edinburgh. Yep. All complete bottles. All with the, the stopper in. Cool. Let's see what else we find. Just had a heartbreak of it. I thought it was a cord at first when I saw that, but it's not. But it is a local bottle, another local bottle, should I say. Dundee and Glasgow, with an A on it. Aqua glass. Yeah, it's upsetting that. It's got like CW bubbles in there and stuff. Tears. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a pity. Maybe we'll find a whole one though, you never know. What's the company called? God, I can't, I can't read that. It's not very heavily embossed. I'll have a look at that soon though. Put that to one side and crack on. This is just to give you an indication of how many bottles are actually coming out. It's broken, but look at that. It's come out of there. I'm seeing sand, so I'm starting to worry that I'm actually at the bottom of the tip already. And that's not good if that's true. Because this is very shallow. Again, it's quite silly. Come on, here you come. There you come. Thinking about it. There we go. Oh, there's a strange sort of embossing on there, like a. I don't know what that is. Must have had a label on this part here. A little amber bottle. It says something on it. Let's see if I can read that. Give it a little rub on my trousers. Well, it's just a registered number. Maybe say on the bottom. Nah, bit of a mystery. It's got the cork in it. Okay, let's crack on. Just add this out. And I am hitting sand, which makes me slightly nervous. But uh, when you tip that way is shallow, then it gets deeper to about here, clearly, and then over there is deeper as well. So I, I can't, I can't get my head around this tip. Very odd. But anyway, back to the bottle. This is a little uh, inkwell, but it looks of things. I think it's is it aqua? No, it's clear. Little, I don't know, oval shape. It's quite nice though. Got a bovril around the bottom here. 
I say this at the bottom, but I thought it was actually a layer of sand and then more ash underneath, which I've never seen on this tip. Be good if that's true. So I've got flies buzzing around my head. So many flies today. Come on, Bob, you come. Where's right in there? There we go. That's hole. What was a screw cap though? It's not ideal. There you go. So this is a weird one today. We've got some serious layering going on. Got this sort of soil on the top and then this sand band and then down into another layer. I think I've got a little bed pig, hot water bottle thing down there. But out of that whole layer, I just came this, which is a, yeah, it's a John Mackay bottle. Cleared again, like the one I found last time. Local bottle though, I like it. Remains of a label, chewed by the ground. Nice. Sure enough, it's a whole bed pig. Of a, Hot water bottle, it's still got a cap in it. Just, yeah, I don't know if it's been burned or whatever, but it's got quite a lot of red on Maybe it's just rust. But yeah, that's a complete one. There's something as well. Heat this bottle before filling it with boiling water. 1922. Oh, look at that. That must be the year. Ah. So it's from 1922. Lovely to accurately uh, date finds. It's got water in it as well. I very much doubt it's going to be hot. Got a little stoneware or something in here. I think it's probably just an ink. Look at this for layering. The sand here. Beautiful. Definitely untouched. Yeah. Just a little stoneware ink. Black and pot, one of those. Just add this out, just have a toothbrush. Made a bone. It's got a hole in the end, this one. Nice one. Just add this out, a little ice blue bottle. Is it plain? I think it's plain. It's a beautiful colour, though, I can already tell. I'll hold that up to the light. Lovely colour. So I'll keep that just because it's beautiful. Got another one of these bottles with the vulcanised stop, I think. It's, uh, it's further down. Oh, it's wedged in as well. Oh. oh ho! <laughs> it's not an especially exciting bottle, but it is to me because it's Tenants. Tenants Lager. Um, well, it probably wasn't lager back then but that's excellent because that's the beer that I drink now <laughs> still cool got another one of these bed pigs and hot water bottles Could be too wedged in no. yeah there's another whole one Let's see if it's got a date on it as well. The last one did. No. There you go, it's complete. I don't know if it's cracked or what. It's got the stopper in it. Through the water. Can I do the joke again about it not being hot anymore? Nah, no, I better not. I won't do that joke again. Somehow done it again. That looks painful. Good fork. Come on, out you come. Is it plain? No. Younger. I can't, really t I can't really tell how old that is just now. I'll need to have a look at that later. I should say Alawa. A trademark actually says there, but they're from Alawa. Just add this out. 
a little milk jug or something. But the cool thing about it is that it's completely whole. Or is it cracked actually? Oh, I think it is cracked. I did think it would be weird for them to throw that out because it's just a whole jug, you know? But yeah, it's got a crack in it, never mind. Just add this out. I think it's household ammonia. Uh, yeah, household ammonia, green bottle with the uh, vulcanite stopper in there. I don't know if you can hear those flies buzzing around my head. So many flies today. Just add this out. I'm not sure if that's an early light bulb actually. There's so something inside it. Maybe that's the filament in there. Oh, I'll have a look at that in a bit. It looks like a bulb. This is what I thought was a light bulb on the dig. But uh, the dig was very muddy, so it was very difficult to make out exactly what it was. Um, but as you can see, it's got a fake marble bottom. And the top part is a glass globe, which I'll just take off. Yeah. And it's ground as well, which makes me think it's quite old. It's got bubbles and things in it as well. I don't know if you can make that out on there. But this is interesting. Um, this part here looks to me like some sort of... I don't know. I thought it may be the leaning tower of Pisa, but it doesn't have this dome on top. But it's got these sort of archways type things in there. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's like this is actually a snow globe, or at least a display. This is the base. And they've tried to make this look like marble. Yeah, it's a really strange one. Um, yeah, so just to put this back together now, I'll try to at least. There you go. If you know what that is, please let me know. I think it's probably a snow globe or something similar, but what is the structure inside? That's the question. Just add this out. Not even that far down. It was just clear. And it would have had a label here. I don't think it says anything though. Nice shape though. Cool. Just cave it in there and uh, this pops out. It's another one of those household ammonias. And it's a green colour, but it's not as green as the other one, which is over here. If you compare the two, this is quite bright green. And this one, it's more of a sort of olivey green. Both with the stopper in though. I've never found one of them, and of course I've now found two. That's just how it works. <laughs> just add this out. And it's not one I think I've seen. It's different. It's a pictorial as well. Whip bread, whip bread, that's London. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look. White bread London and it's got hands are so fuzzy it's got a stopper in as well that's nice I've never had a white bread so that must be a beer bottle then cool it's not a local one but it's one I don't have so I'm quite chuffed with that one and I think I'm gonna have a lunchtime roundup now kind of forgot to have lunch today <laughs> Lunchtime roundup. We'll start over here. Just a few little plain medicine type bottles. Lovely colour though that one. Like this one as well. I don't know what this is. Beautiful little amber bottle. Some inks. Uh, clear aqua glass bottle. Sauce bottle, nothing on it. Don't think this has anything on it. A couple of old toothbrushes. Um, this I think is a bulb. A very old bulb that had this in the middle. It's like a ceramic thing, probably the filament type thing. 
and I think it actually sat in that house thing as well, can't be sure. This is another one of those um, Edinburgh John Mackay bottles, uh, bigger ink. You've got these two bed pigs or uh, hot water bottles, both of them have got little cracks, hairlines, which is probably why they got thrown out. And then there's all these beer bottles and other sort of seltzer bottles and things. Um, this is a beer from uh, Younger's Brewery in Aloha. This is uh, McEwen's, sorry, this is Tenants. <laughs> that's a bad mistake to make. This is Tenants with the trademark that's very similar to what they still use today. Um, and as I say, this is a beer that I still drink, so I'm quite chuffed for that. And there's two McEwen's here. And then there's this uh, M&M Aberdeen, my name is. Um, <coughs> and then there's this uh, Urquhart and McLennan, I think which is a pictorial, which is nice. There's this uh, Bars Bottle, which is the company that still makes Iron Brew today, which is Scotland's second most popular drink, national drink. This is uh, Jay Robertson's son. I've got a mate called Justin Robertson, so <laughs> that's quite funny. Um, moving on to these three. So I've got Household Ammonia, it's that darker green one, and then the much brighter, that's a nice bottle actually. And I think this is the same kind of thing, but like earlier, so I would have had a cork in it. Um, and then there's this, which is probably my favourite find so far, even though it's not local. Um, yeah, it's a London Whitbread Company beer. Uh, and it's got an applied lip, which means it's earlier than other bottles down there. It's got that little, uh, is that a peacock in the middle? Or a shwoo? <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> That's um, <coughs> lunchtime roundup. Got a flask type bottle here, I think. Yeah, still got a label on it, or some of it, did have. Is it plain? Yeah, I think it's plain. Amber, plain little whiskey flask. Got this here, I think it's a Wilson Andrews and Cooper bottles. Wilson's is it, I think. It's very wet at the bottom here, as you can see, so it's hard to show you stuff coming out, but yeah. Yeah, Wilson. <laughs> I like these bottles though, it's usually an amber bottle, hang on. Yeah, it's a nice amber colour in the sun. I'll show you that in the roundup. Got a bottle here. I think you should have just come out. Yeah. I don't know those dark case balls. Yeah. Well, it's damaged, it's got a chip out of the bottom of that one. It's a green one. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Got a ball right in the bottom. It's, it's a blob top, I can feel that it's a blob top. I just hope it's whole. Ooh! It is hot. It's impossible to read though because there's so much mud down here. I'm going to take this one out because I think this is a nice bottle. I think this is probably the best bottle today. Yeah, let's have a look. Look at my hands by the way. <laughs> yep, it's a lovely bottle. Adamson's leaving, pictorial, with a nice um, market cross in the town centre there. Yeah, it's one I don't have. Blob top, applied lip. Look like a cod, like that. Yeah, I'm really chuffed with this. I'll go straight in the collection. That's my favourite today so far now. <sighs> Seriously muddy today, heavy. And I just got a mouthful of backsplash. Didn't taste very nice. So I spat that out, obviously. Um, and this is what's going on behind me. That's all the junk. And then the good stuff is over there. So yeah, it's just there's loads of stuff here. Just keeps coming out and coming out, but I'm digging in that. Yeah. 
Fun times. <laughs> got a ball here. Looks like it's still got the stopper in it as well. Yep. Yeah, it's just plain. Nice to have a wee stopper in it though. Nice to change. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. That's a mosquito. Scottish mosquitoes are a thing now. And they seem to like biting me anyway. Okay, here's what we've got here. It's just a clear ink, I think. But what's different about it is it's got a cork in it. Okay. That's cool. Never found one with a cork in it before. Nice. Got a ball in this little cave here. What is this? Dalkeith again. Oh yeah. It's another Dalkeith ball. That's cool though. Another beer. Got a little ball in here. Aqua glass, just plain again, another plain one. There you go. Don't know if you can see this, it's quite dark in here. Got what feels like a panel bottle at the bottom. Hmm. Let's dig it out a little bit more. I keep whacking the camera on my arm. Ah, oh, I can't believe that's plain. Beautiful ball though. Aqua glass. Very pretty, it's got the cork in it. But, it's plain. That's a pity. Got a jar here. Still remains of a label in there. Oh, hello. Ah, Sharwoods again. It's a different type this time, but it's a Sharwoods jar. Sharwoods, London and Bombay, I guess. Yep, that's the one. I just had this out, top of a ginger beer. And I know that that's the type from the one, that I've, the last one I found that smashed. I wonder if that is enough to repair that other ginger beer. I really hope so. Well, we'll see. This is the ginger beer bottle that I found on a previous dig. And this is the top that I found on this dig that you're watching now. So as you can see, <laughs> this could be tricky. But it's not impossible. I could do it. I just have to get the angle right, so I might have to I think it needs to go up about there. But yeah, it's it's not an easy job. In fact, it's probably the hardest one so far. But that's not to say I can't do it. And I know that I've got in my drawer somewhere a stopper that will fit this. So yeah, let's see. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go and we'll see how I get on. Just add this out. And I nearly chucked it away. Um, but I cleaned it up because I wasn't sure what it was. And as I cleaned it up, the little birds started to reveal themselves there. We are, look. Our little birds in like a jungle background or something. I don't know if it's just a little tin box. It may be silver, but I don't think so. But yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful little find, that. It's got little birds and design all the way around it. That's going to clean up beautifully, I know it is. Chuffed with that. And that probably will be the last find of the day as well, because I am tired. That was really hard going in that dirt. It was so muddy. But yeah. There you go. 
Do you see what I see? Don't believe this. If this is what I think it is. It is. I almost swore there. And I don't do that in my videos. That's the lid. From that box. How cool. How cool is that? And that's one of the benefits of filling in. Because when you fill in, sometimes you find things you wouldn't normally have missed. I'm absolutely buzzing about that, that's amazing. Yes! And that's me all filled in. Full time roundup. So, got loads going on here. I'll start with this because it's quite strange. Someone stuck a stopper in there that's the wrong size, but that was done back in the day. So I thought I'd just leave it in for the time being anyway. Uh, I've got this sort of lid of a teapot thing. I've got this uh, tiny wee lovely little miniature ball. It doesn't seem to have any writing on it, but it's lovely. A little cork. I've got the top of that ginger beer, which I'm hoping is enough for me to restore that other ginger beer. Because the only bit I was really worried about was the threaded hole here and the blob top. So I might be able to build that up. It'll take a while, but it might happen. Anyway, wee bottles as always for Sarah. Inkwells, uh, that lovely coloured um, ice blue bottle. Some plain aquas, sauce, uh, another plain aqua. Everything is so filthy today. Well, there was a pipe bowl, but I think it's just blank and plain. Um, yeah, this panel bowl, unfortunately still, yeah, it's blank. I've got three toothbrushes in the end. Um, and then I've got this light bulb, which I think is something to do with that as well. I've got the ink bottle, got the Edinburgh bottle, um, that wee brown bottle. I've got that long, thin bottle, which is quite cool. I think they'll like that one. Um, the standard jar that you get on every dig here. I've got the uh, tenant's bowl. Actually, I've got two of those. There's another one somewhere. And it's just so muddy at the minute. Um, some bottles that I've never seen before uh, or Kurt and this is a uh, the bars bottle so this is iron brew company um oh yeah I had I had two ammonias household ammonias but I realized they wanted a crack right down there so I'm not gonna take that that's uh, going in the skip um Aberdeen bottle uh yeah I've got this little Robertson's bottle that's the Cooper and St Andrews bottle aloe and my favorite two the two rock stars. Well, let's just see, actually. Let's just see what happens. So, I've never had one of these before, this Whitbread London bottle. It's lovely, with the shwoo on it. And I've got this um, lovely Adamson local leave-in bottle, and that's going to clean up really well. It looks pretty horrible at the minute, but that will clean up really nicely. And the Rockstar isn't even a bottle. No. It's this wee box with the birds all over it imagine finding the top as well that's crackers i think it might have had a sort of couple of little hinges on there in the past but i think they're well gone but it doesn't really matter because they're at the back anyway but i've given this a sort of rub on my leg and you can see the birds have sort of shown up a bit i think that's going to clean up beautifully i think it's pewter or something i can't see it being solid silver um, and it's not Hallmark, which would suggest that it's not, but then again, it could be Continental. I don't know, but more to follow about this. Um, but that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really chuffed with that. Thanks for joining me on Dirty Secrets of Scotland, episode 25. Really enjoyed that dig. Lots of local beers today, which was really cool, and that London one as well. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it, and I got this, which I totally wasn't expecting. I absolutely love this. This is like one of the coolest things I've ever found. So yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Underneath the soil or hidden in the ground, there's a lot of treasures to be found. Dirty secrets, dirty secrets of Scotland.